In the vast expanse of the ocean, where the horizon meets the endless blue, lies a world of beauty and mystery. But within its depths, beneath the surface tranquility, lies a stark reality, a reality marred by the unpredictable nature of maritime catastrophes. At the heart of every vessel amidst the steel and machinery rests the beating heart of maritime travel, the engine, a symbol of power, reliability and progress. Yet despite its robustness, it remains vulnerable to the whims of fate. Schroeder Industries is a fluid filtration manufacturing facility located in Leedsdale, Pennsylvania. Aaron Keck is a product manager there for the fuel products and systems. His components play a key in helping maritime vessels win the battle against possible engine failure. So Schroeder Industries fuel filtration is really focused on not just what we would know as traditional liquid fuel spin on filters. It is an engineered value add solution that helps address today's fuel filtration cleanliness requirements in the industry. And much of that stems across all types of applications, but stems from our engineered developed solutions. And we can apply them to bulk fuels applications, everything from stored, transferred, and kidney loop, uh, say filtered or polished fuels, all the way to point of use, like dispensing and other similar applications. And then we can even go smaller to more onboard traditional liquid fuels applications like engine pre-filtration, whether it's single, duplex, or uh, a variety of different sizes and footprints, uh, even capable of handling the highest flow rate of engine fuel system. If you include bulk fuel filtration, which really fits the traditional product line that we started with within Schroeder Industries. Uh, it's really evolved to include not only bulk fuel filtration, but mobile onboard filtration, and uh, now a newer product line that we're also bringing to light is our compressed gas filtration. Uh, really looking at the change towards greener fuel sources, lower carbon emissions, and really trying to meet the current market and consumer needs where fluid cleanliness, Fuel cleanliness is a critical um, piece of just overall fuel system design. I'd say uh, many of our bulk fuel filtration product um, is utilized in the maritime industry. Um, even though you don't necessarily recognize it first off, um, whether it is, say, land-based support for polishing of bulk fuels used for whether it's a uh, uh, whether it's a marina for like yacht and pleasure craft fueling, or um, utilized on the work boats and vessels themselves, polishing fuel that's used for primary storage that's used across the entire ship, um, were utilized in quite a few applications that don't necessarily fit the tr typical traditional um, you know shipping type or a uh, class vessel type of marine applications that most people think of when they think of marine. Yeah, as it currently fits, uh, specifically with workboat applications, the use of our bulk diesel filter panel has really seen great success and acceptance in the market. And that largely has to do with just the simplicity of the design, its proven and known performance and capability in fuel filtration, and how that applies in polishing the primary fuel where not only is it solid contaminant, particulate, and removal of you know, the typical contaminants that we're used to seeing, but removing the constant ingress of water. And it may not be water from, you know, the body of water that they're floating in. Most times we're dealing with just ambient humidity and because of the overall humidity above the surface of the tank, the air is breathed in as that fuel is consumed and you're dealing with a much cooler environment in the headspace of that tank, which just causes condensation to form. So it's not hard for free water to start to accumulate and develop over time, which opens up a whole environment for microbial growth and that real challenging water acidic environment 
to form within fuel storage. So the bulk diesel filter panel is a, a perfect fit um, for addressing that. For those who brave the seas, their journey is a delicate dance with danger. A single malfunction, a solitary glitch, can transform a vessel of hope into a vessel of despair. So many fleets uh, of pushboats and other workboats, um, prior to implementing a fuel polishing system like this, were just left to the quality of fuel and the general port-based maintenance that's maybe done when a problem is seen or experienced in the field. Um, unfortunately, that can lead to pretty catastrophic results, whether it is something as simple as an injector failure or a failure of a fuel system component, which may require significant downtime, cost of engine repairs and maintenance that was unplanned. Um, loss in productivity can have a huge impact on that, but poor quality fuel can affect the real-time operation of engines that may not necessarily be used for primary propulsion, although can be, um, but also electric power generation on board those vessels. And anytime you lose electric power generation capabilities or primary propulsion, you put the ship and the crew at risk of capsizing, of, um, of really running up against very dangerous and threatening uh, situations. So, Prior to implementing many of these solutions, um, they were left with more labor intensive maintenance processes and procedures, a careful watch on the condition of their fuel and their engine systems. Um, and it really required uh, a careful eye of somebody below deck watching these very expensive and critical uh, power systems. Through utilization of our fuel filtration technology and in other industries, you know, whether it was the early implementation of tier four and ultra low sulfur diesel and on highway fleets, all the way down to the implementation of tier four final for off highway markets in the mid uh, between 2010 and 2020, that knowledge is starting to carry over into that holdout industry of the maritime world where uh, engines were often rebuilt to try and maintain pre emissions engines that weren't as critical in terms of fuel cleanliness requirements. So we can utilize known knowledge from other industries, the other requirements needed to meet tier four interim and tier four fuel cleanliness for those engines. And we can take that knowledge and apply a product that we know works in those applications. You can apply it to maritime now, and that is going to allow those engines and fuel systems to prevent long-term catastrophic damage. If these are implemented, excuse me, if these are implemented early on in the life cycle of a vessel or a repower of a vessel, this can really preserve the overall fuel system and engine life over the course of its operating and design life. Also working at Schroeder is Mike Wild. Mike is the group product manager for the process group. Like Aaron Keck, Mike's department handles various components that also play a part in keeping ships running safely. As, as the process group, we really cover every aspect of our company, working with water, emulsions, fuels, and hydraulic and oil and lube. Uh, mostly we're concentrated on the automatic backwash filtration, um, but over the last decade or so, we really expanded it to handle all kind of mechanical filtration for any type of fluids from liquid all the way through the gases. Um, especially the last couple of years with alternative fuels coming on board, our gas products have really exploded with uh, hydrogen and uh, liquid gases such as the LNG and ammonia and methane, many of the things they're trying to use for the alternative fuels. You know, we've really been involved in the, the maritime industry for many, many decades, um, mostly doing the water to begin with. Uh, we, we would uh, make sure there's good filtration going to fire suppression on oil rigs or, or, or uh, vessels uh, on the ocean uh, or uh, pre-filtered to clean drinking water. And we've really been able to expand on that over the number of years, especially with the onset of the ballast water. Uh, we work very closely with the IMO when they um, were going through their testing protocol. 
Um, we work with many manufacturers who pl provided the UV or the chemical aspect of the ballast water, worked with them to get the International Maritime Organization certifications. And then U.S. Coast Guard came on and we worked with those companies as well to get ballast water certifications. Um, so it's very important, um, our pre-filtration would make sure that the expensive equipment of ultraviolet and, and the chemical, um, we protected those. Uh, we were able them then to use less energy on the UV or use less chemicals when they're going through the ballast water. And the main goal of the whole ballast water system was to make sure there was no invasive species that were brought into the United States or, or worldwide, whatever port they were bringing it in. Um, bringing it from one area and dumping it into and ruining that ecosystem, uh, such as the zebra mussels that we see or the flying fish up in, in the Illinois uh, River. And then we've also got really heavily into the fuel side of it with our RF-9 and our RF-15. Um, the fuel uh, contaminants uh, have really been an industry problem for a long time. So our RF-9 does a great job on heavy fuels. And we can actually get down to three micron filtration rating uh, to protect the engines with the heavy fuels. Um, we, we can also have uh, RF-15 that does a great job with lubrications and different oils as well. And um, we, we utilize that on engines and that can even help the customer save money by getting rid of disposable spin-ons. Um, and then with the alternate fuels, of course, um, you know, hydrogen is, is becoming a big, uh, area that people are looking into to use for altered fuels. And um, we've been very successful with filling stations um, to be able to use that for hydrolyzers where they would make the uh, energy on site. Um, but even with the liquid, we've come out with a whole new line of filtration projects for liquid gases that would take care of LNG, ammonia, or methane. Some of those alternate fuels are looking at to use to get rid of some of the diesel or reduce the carbon footprint. You know, having bad fuel, we've seen some of the barges wreck into these bridges. Um, you know, they lose control of the ship. So, um, you know, it's imperative that they have the clean fuel and the RF-9 can definitely provide that. Um, on the on the ballast water side, uh, we just had a situation where a uh, vessel did not have ballast water. They got the port. They couldn't dump their ballast water. They had to go back out to ocean to take care of that. And we were told just that three day turnaround cost the, uh, the company $1.5 million in lost wages. So if your ballast water goes down and you can't take care of that at the port, um, you know, or not accepted into the port, uh, you know, you can lose up to half a million dollars a day for each one of these vessels. Um, e even um, some, some of the water side, um, to make sure that the nozzles are protected for su fire suppression, especially on an oil rig, um, we make sure we can get down to a fine micron rating for those, protect those nozzles so they don't get clogged. So if there is un an unfortunate incident, um, their fire suppression system will work and the nozzle will work on the oil rigs or on the vessels themselves. Um, so filtration is very, very important in the maritime industry. There's no question about it. I mean, we can offer from the simplest bag housings that can be utilized all the way through, you know, our automatic backwash filters that um, can really save the customer a lot of money. But in the long term, it's, it's giving them a peace of mind that it's going to operate in tough situations. For all their ingenuity, these machines are not immune to failure. A malfunctioning engine, a critical component giving way to wear and tear, in the heart of the ocean, where help is often far from reach, such setbacks can spell disaster. But amidst these challenges there exists a beacon of hope. Proper filtration, like that provided by Schroeder Industries, is a guardian against potential pitfalls. Like a vigilant sentinel, filtration systems stand ready to safeguard against the intrusion of contaminants that could compromise the integrity of vital components. So you got pleated versus flat depending on how much surface area we need. By purifying the lifeblood that courses through the veins of these vessels, filtration ensures that they remain resilient in the face of adversity. Through the convergence of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of safety, Boats and ships continue to defy the odds, navigating through the treacherous waters of the sea. And though they may be vulnerable to the whims of fate, with each journey embarked upon, they reaffirm the indomitable spirit of exploration that has guided humanity across oceans since time immemorial.